Hey friends, my name is Bilal Khan and today I'm going to make a chat application using the Lambda function and the WebSocket API. And I'm also going to use the Golang and the JavaScript and HTML to show you the result on the client side on the browser. So this is the thing that I'm going to be working on and I will show you all these steps. But before this, as you can see here that I'm present in the AWS management console. So I will first of all open the Lambda function. All right. So this is the lambda function that I'm going to use and I'm also going to open the uh, API gateway here. All right. So let's open this. So now it will take some time. So let's wait for this. Now you can see that this is the API gateway and uh, this is the lambda function. Uh, this is the dashboard of it. Currently there is no lambda function present here. So I'm going to create three lambda functions for this application. And I'm also going to create the API gateway. So let's scroll down first of all. And as you can see here, there are, there are multiple APIs like the HTTP, WebSocket and REST API. I'm going to create the uh, WebSocket API. So what this API is, so basically it is used for the communication purpose on um, two sides like on the client side and on the server side in which the client will send a request to the server and the server will respond to it all right so this is the uh, follow uh, basically this is following two met uh, two way methodology in which the request will be given and after that the response will be given and the first of all the request will be given and after that the response will be provided to it so this is working on two way methodology so this is the uh, functionality of it and this is uh, mostly used in the chat application so yeah this is the thing that you need to keep in mind so let's uh, click on this build button and after that let's write socket api you can give it any name if you want to but i'm giving, uh, going to give the name of it uh, like the socket api and this is the route selection expression so i'm going to write request body uh, uh, request body and action all right so yeah so basically a route a selection expression tails API which route uh, to call when a client sends a message or right, so when a client will send a message it will give a request and after that it will uh, perform the action according to it if you want to read more info about it you can read it like this all right so let's uh, press next and these are the routes that I'm going to select like the connect route, disconnect route and the default route. So what uh, this uh, connect, disconnect and default route does. So basically the lambda function will trigger when there will be uh, uh, when the when the connection will establish when there will be a connection request sent to it. All right. So in that case, the lambda function will trigger and it will create a connection ID. All right. And that connection ID will be stored in the lambda functionality. All right. In the lambda function and after that if the uh, disconnect request is sent to it in that case the connection id will be deleted from the lambda function and uh, the connection will be uh, closed and this is the default uh, key or the default route that is basically handling the main functionality of sending and receiving the request all right so these are the three routes that i'm going to select and after that uh, let's click on the next button and after that you can see that this is the integration for connect integration for disconnect and integration for default so as you can see here that it is if i click on this yeah uh, for this uh, it is giving me three options for the mock lambda and http so i will integrate it with the uh, lambda functionality so if i click on this you will see that there is no lambda functions that is present here so i will create three uh, lambda functions one is for the uh, connect one is for the disconnect and one is for the default so let's go to the lambda dashboard and create the lambda function for it like uh, first one is going to be connect lambda and this is going to be the runtime on in golang and after that, uh, don't, you don't need to change all these details. Uh, leave the details as it is. Let uh, just uh, click the runtime and uh, give the name of it. Let connect lambda. Cre create a function of this. And uh, let's wait for this because it will take some time. So yeah. So yeah, you can see here that the connect lambda uh, function is created. I'm going to create two more functions. The first, uh, the second one is, is going to be disconnect uh, lambda like this, disconnect lambda. So you can give it any name if you want to. So I have given it just uh, disconnect lambda for the simplicity purpose. So runtime is Golang. So let's uh, create this function.
so yeah this is also going to be created so yeah it's created now let's go to the create function again and this time i will write default lambda uh, golang because the functions that i will be writing in will be in the golang mainly all right so yeah let's create this So now you can see that the default lambda is also created. These are the three functions that are created and the, the connection ID will be stored in these, uh, what you can see, these functions, all right, that I talked about. So now let's choose uh, the lambda function and let's write like this, again, choose it lambda. And this time you will see that they are loaded. So this one is a connect, this one disconnect and default. So I will right click on this connect and let's uh, uh, type the lambda again and uh, this is the disconnect all right so you can choose any location that you want to that is near to you so i for me uh, my region is uh, ape, ape south one uh, so yeah this is the uh, region that is nearest to me so after that you can see here that uh, this is the disconnect lambda for the uh, integration for the disconnect and this is the integration type lambda for a default connect like this one all right so yeah now let's uh, mm, what you can say let's click on the next uh, you can change the uh, stage name. I have uh, kept it like a production. So yeah, let's uh, review these details. So yeah, let's create and deploy it. So now it will take some time. So yeah, wait for it. So now it is loaded now. You can see here that this is these are the three stages that are uh, created. So what I will do, I will go to the action and deploy the API by using the production stage that I uh, named it previously. All right. So let's deploy this. And now you can see that this is the uh, API gateway that is created. So now the first thing that I'm going to do is to copy this WebSocket uh, uh, URL. All right. So this is the important URL that I need to copy this. All right. So after copying it, let's go to the Visual Studio code. So here I have written the code previously also, and I will show you the code step by step. Uh, the first thing that I'm going to do, as you can see here, that this is the main.go file. And inside this file, the first thing that I'm going to do is to let's delete this uh, comments because I don't need it. Yeah. So the first thing that I'm going to do is the, uh, this is the uh, static directory that I'm going to call and inside this static directory, all the files will be fetched and all the files will be read out. All right. So yeah, you can see here that inside this static directory, all the HTML and the JavaScript files are present here. And after that, mm, uh, uh, this is the handle function that will show that uh, the local host with the uh, slash will be executed in order to uh, run this functionality and this is the uh, port number 8080 and this uh, based on this port the uh, functionality will be running all right so now let's go to the um, html and cs uh, javascript because inside this static directory all these files are present so i need to take a look at these files all right so now you can see here that inside this file there are multiple buttons like uh, first one is the in message input and uh, this is the input type text the, after that there is the open connection there is a send button there is a close button and after that this is the script that is basically chat jo, uh, chat js all right so this is the chat .js uh, file in which i have to work on so now the api uh, uh, socket url that i copied from here i will paste it like here all right so this is the code that uh, that is written before so yeah i will just show you what this code does so basically it will first of all establish the connection once this uh, connection is established uh, it will give us the message or if uh, if it is not established it will give us the error the and if the connection is closed then it will give me this message that hey the connection is closed and basically i have uh, given three buttons like the open connection send and the close connection when the user will click on the open connection the connection will be established when the user will uh, click on the close connection the connection will be closed and after that if the user want to send any kind of request then it will uh, he will insert this in the in this uh, input type text 
and after that click on the uh, send button and after that the request will be sent out all right and the response will be given to us that hey this is the text that is written uh, uh, that you requested and this is the text that is uh, that will be given to you back all right so yeah i will show you when i will uh, run this code all right so now the next thing is the open button so this is the open button then uh, if the user clicks on this uh, it will check that whether the connection is already established or not if the connection is established then it will give me this message that hey the connection is already open so you don't need to uh, establish the connection every time after that the next message is to click on the send button so when the user will write some kind of data and after that uh, when the user will click on the send button the that button will basically take the first of all the input and after that it will give that message to us all right and after that uh, if the user want to close uh, close the connection then in that case the connection will be closed all right so yeah this is how it will work and uh, connection is closed open the connection first to send a message let's say if the connection is closed and the user want to open the connection then in that case he will click on the open connection button but let's say if the uh, connection is already closed then in that case if he uh, want to uh, uh, again close the connection then that, then in that case it will give this message that hey the connection is already closed you need to open this instead of closing it every time all right so yeah so this is how this functionality will work so yeah this is a simple code so let's copy this but you need to keep this in mind that uh, copy this uh, url and take it from here like this websocket url and uh, paste it down here so let's save this and save this one save this one let's go to the terminal and inside this terminal let's go to the chat app like this sorry chat app now i'm going present in the chat app i will write go run mean dot go now you can see that it is listening on port 8080 so let's refresh this now you can see that this is the port 8080 and there are three buttons connection open uh, send and close connection currently there is a connection is already closed so i need to open the connection first so let's open the connection now the connection is established now if i write any of the uh, thing and if i send a request to it you will see that the message is sent and now the response is given back to us all right so this is the response that i wrote it here and this is the response that i got it here like this all right so let's write another message like this if i send this request again you will see that this is the response that i got this is the message sent and this is the response that i got basically uh, uh, i i cop uh, wrote this message and this is the response that i got from uh, from the response side all right and if i click on the open connection again you will see that the connection is already open you don't need to open the connection every time and let's close this connection and let's say after closing the connection if i write this message again you will see and if i click on this you will see that the connection is closed open the connection first to send a message so in this case you need to first of all open the connection in order to send a message so this is how it will work all right so yeah so this is a simple application and this is the code that i have shown you here uh, and this index html and C, uh, javascript code and i run this code in uh, what you can say main.go file by taking these files yeah this is a simple application now let's uh, uh, go to the uh, lambda function and i don't need these functionalities so what i will do i will delete them all right after deleting this let's close this yeah and similar case with here also i will delete this staging area and uh, similar case with the apis i will go to the apis and uh, delete this socket api so yeah so now this is done now and uh, one after that what i will do i will uh, write what you can say i will go to the uh, chat your js and inside this uh, js what i will write i will write AWS region and uh, this is the prod what you can say you can write anything you want to and uh, basically this could be anything if I write like random text that I want to write just to show you that how it will work but I'm not going to write the exact URL here uh, it is just for the uh, what you can say uh, example purpose so yeah let's write git add git commit and then what you can say made the created the chat application like 
this git push origin me so yeah this is how it will work so now this is uh, done now if i go to the aws projects uh, yep so now you can see the chat application is now created here and this is the uh, result of it if i open this you can see that the static and this is the main and inside this these are the javascript code etc that i wrote it yeah so this is how it will work so i hope you understood and liked this video so if you liked it then make sure to subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions then ask those questions in the comment section below i'll be happy to answer all of them so till then goodbye